Be careful what you wish for. It's a saying everyone has heard a thousand times, except apparently you, Buzz, because you asked for this. You said you'd overcome whatever I put in front of you to win the universal title. Well, this now stands in your path, along with four other superstars who cannot wait to tear you apart in an Elimination Chamber match. It makes me question your mental health. Because only an insane person would wish unimaginable pain and suffering on themselves. Only an insane person would wish to be in a nursing home 50 years from now, unable to hug their grandchildren because of injuries they sustained decades earlier from these hands. But the SWAT team's not out here tonight to protect Braun Strowman from an insane person. No, Buzz, they're here to protect you. They're also here to protect my investment because I want the WWE Universe to pay to see Braun Strowman end your short-lived career at Elimination Chamber. And finally, they're here to protect your wishes, no matter how insane they may be. Buzz, I'm not usually a generous man, but at Elimination Chamber, I'm going to grant you all your wishes. Unfortunately for you, it's not going to be like when John Cena grants wishes. No. <laughs> It'll be much, much worse. What was that? It's Buzz! It's Buzz! What just happened? He was wearing some kind of metal plate. He borrowed a page out of Bret Hart's playbook. So he's the one who's been watching old Nitros on WWE Network. You think you're clever with the disguise and the metal plate, huh? We'll see if you can figure out how you're gonna survive this to win the Universal title in the Elimination Chamber match. The first two entrants will be you and Braun Strowman. The path to the Universal title at Elimination Chamber just became even more difficult for Buzz. I'm looking forward to facing you at Elimination Chamber because I never got a rematch for my Intercontinental title. I guess because you lost it so quickly. Why is that? When I competed in the Elimination Chamber, it was one of the most brutal matches of my career and you won't exactly have any allies out there. Do you know what they say about long shots? I've got no clue. I was hoping you knew. Hey, just give them bloody hell. When I competed in the eliminate...
Do you know what they say about long shots? I've got no clue. I was hoping you knew. Hey, just give them bloody hell. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about Triple H's decision to have you and Braun Strowman enter the Elimination Chamber match first. I will say this. If you really are the new monster among men, you'll find a way to survive. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have a real fan favorite versus The Miz. are squaring off looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. And I oh. can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Drop down. Now leapfrog. Boom, what impact. Harsh impact. Looking for the finish. See if he takes the bait. Nailed it. Here it comes. He's got him. I don't think he should get up. What are we going to see here? Hung up on the snack breaker. He's calling for it. Don't you dare get up, man. Ooh. The man's looking a little bit shaken. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly Ouch. aren't looking good for him right now. Boom, what impact! He has him right where he wants him. He wants no part of this. Oh, nasty. The shoulders are down. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Definitely has his work cut out for him. We saw the best female and male competitors in WWE fight side by side during the Mixed Match Challenge, but one duo will emerge from the 12-team competition as the inaugural winners. The Team of the Miz and Asuka, also known as Team Asuka. Ducks up. Pele kick. Oh boy, he is rolling. He doesn't look too eager to get up. 
And I don't blame Rock from above. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. Michael mentioned the Miz and Asuka's success on the Mixed Match Challenge. But can we clarify things a bit? Most of that tournament was the Miz getting out of the way as Asuka continued her domination. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Most isn't all, Saxton. Don't you dare forget that the Miz scored... Long way up in the electric chair. Oh, what a driver. This is all but over. Oh, man, that's put so many competitors away. Yes! Unreal performance. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. We have a great matchup coming up next against an imposing adversary. featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxon. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. The superstar known as Buzz is here! And his opponent, accompanied by Matt Hardy from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 256 pounds, Nick Parker! Buzz was a three-sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards.
The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Harsh impact. Buster. Big spine buster. Double underhook suplex. Boom! <laughs> Cover here. And Brett quickly gets the shoulder up. So resourceful. In control, so much damage inflicted. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. What a stomp! Good grief! Headbutt! <laughs> Watch this. Oh. There he goes, crashing to the floor. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. He wants no part of the outside. Back between the ropes. Back in from the floor. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Shooting star! Wow! Incredible! Ooh, what impact! He's playing with him now. I don't think he should get up. Over and over. Everyone knows that Bret Hart grew up in the famous Hart family, and his father Stu was a legendary grappler and promoter for Stampede Wrestling in Calgary, Alberta, Ouch. Canada. What many people don't know is outside of sports entertainment, the hitman developed quite the resume as a television and theater actor. This might be it! Oh my! Bret Hart and the Hart family will always be revered in sports entertainment. A few of Bret's most critically acclaimed roles were part of the cast of the hit Western series Lonesome Dove and The Simpsons in a theatrical version of Aladdin. The excellence of execution is also a best-selling author and owns a hockey team in Canada appropriately named the Calgary Hitmen. Bret Hart does it all in and out of the ring. He doesn't stink up the joint like every place you go, Byron. He's not looking like himself here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. He's doing exactly what he didn't want to do here. He's letting his opponent right back into this match. Man. Oh, 
Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. No, he reverses it. Ooh, what an there. uppercut. Beautiful technique. When this guy's on, look out. Irish whip. Setting up for the Bulldog. Dodges that one. He's calling for it. See if he takes the bait. What is keeping Bret Hart going at this point? This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Setting up for the Bulldog! Face first. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Yeah, but the good news is that he still appears to be in better condition than his opposition right now. Incredible drop. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. Ooh. Oh, man. German suplex. Oh, look at this. Second suplex. This is not going to be good. You can dislocate your shoulder. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Now, that's how you prove your dominance. He's close to being done here. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. He gets it with a reversal. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He can't take much more. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Is he done? No, he releases the hold. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Caught off guard. He has something big planned. He's making a statement here with this attack. Big first right into the buckle. Now with complete control. He might have it. DDT. Planet. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Bret Hart's just getting overwhelmed. Got to figure something out. Long way up in the electric chair. Driver. He could do it here. This guy just refuses to quit. Not yet. This could be big. Lands this and he is done. He caught him slipping. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a driver. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Yeah, I'm pretty sure our table just shook a bit. Buzz with the W! Wow, congratulations, Buzz! Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while.
That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectation, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Tough to top that one, folks. We were lucky to be here to witness a match filled with technical prowess, amazing moves, and seemingly non-stop action. Here is your winner, Nick Parker. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinball win right there. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw.